We want to welcome now uh, Lee Siegel, the brother of Keith uh, Samuel Siegel, still being held hostage in the Gaza Strip. Uh, Lee, thank you very much uh, for your time, uh, for speaking uh, with us uh, this afternoon. Well, we opened the broadcast with uh, the optimism uh, U.S. Secretary of State uh, Antony Blinken is expressing as Hamas is once again saying a maybe yes, so to speak. How, how do you feel, perhaps uh, at this point in time, uh, somewhat immune to public statements? We've learned not to raise our expectations. Uh, over the last many months, opportunities for a deal have come and gone. So we're waiting. The Secretary of State was gracious to meet us, mm -hmm. as the administration, the Biden administration, has been throughout these eight months very supportive. We appreciate that. But the bottom line is we're waiting for Sinwar to answer yes, no, yes, but on Israel's latest proposal. Yes, and before we, we, we get to that, um, the hostages, um, the four of them, uh, released um, this weekend uh, sharing information uh, See, on, on their time in captivity. Uh, what and what they said perhaps offered you some hope and what is um, maybe doing the opposite? Thank you. And we were very happy um, to see them return home to King Abdullah uh, on Saturday. President uh, none of them are Secretary close General to the Secretary. age of my brother. My brother is 65. Uh, for their tireless so to help end I this think that youth and uh, to help the many children is an advantage uh, in terms of enduring such harsh conditions. So the happiness is mixed with sadness that my brother Keith and the other hostages are still there. They're not home. Yes, uh, you can you can feel uh, physically feel their their absence. Um, Lee, what is it that you want to see uh, being done differently? I want to see my brother and the other hostages home. Yeah. At is a short answer. Yeah. I think that our government in Israel needs to do everything necessary to return the hostages, those who are alive, for rehab, rehabilitation with their families and those who are tragically not alive, deceased, for burial, a proper respectful burial. Mm. Uh, I think the whole world needs to lean in, so to speak, and move this deal to a place of cessation of violence. I don't think that war is going to further my brother and the other hostages returning home. It was an amazing military extraction, uh, but that is not going to bring all of the hostages home in the time that they have left. Uh, almost 250 days, we heard what the physician had to say, and th that's a general statement, a specific statement about my brother. We know that Aviva, his wife, who returned on the 51st day, and that was during the only deal that was negotiated. Yeah even today speaks to the difficulties and trauma that she endured and continues to endure. It's physical, it's emotional. We need something to change today, tomorrow, and get everyone back home. And that will allow Israel, the country of Israel, all of us to start to to move towards a normal is not an adjective that can be used in these times, but move towards a period of time when we regain Rebuild our strength us, our and future. find a new way. Yeah. Yes. Lee Siegel, I really do hope this is the last uh, holiday uh, you are uh, marking uh, without uh, your uh, brother, fully um, Keith, and uh, 119 other hostages will be back with us. Uh, I wouldn't yes. say quickly, but sooner Shavuot, rather than later. Shavuot is a very special 
Shavuot is a very special kibbutz holiday. Right. And Kit and Aviva from kibbutz Kfar Aza, I live on kibbutz Gezer. Aviva and grandchildren are now on kibbutz Gezit. It's a very, very special family time, and we all need to be together. Yes, the holiday, holiday of the kibbutzim, uh, the holiday of harvest, um, definitely not a day of celebration um, at this uh, this year. Thank you very, very much, Lee Siegel, uh, for your time, uh, and uh, we'll of course uh, stay in touch until Keith is back. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.